this another pickup vid? It is. Hey, hey, Grub Gun here. I'm back with another pickup vid. Are you excited? See, I'm looking over there right away. My beard looks really weird on that fucking little screen, too. It looks like it's got, like, tinsel in it. Hey, hey, Grub Gun here. <laughs> So, yeah, hey, uh, pickup video, everyone, look, 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 <laughs> there's a video happening, and I'm in it, and it's about pickups. <sighs> so I've had a good week at, uh, well, you know, it's, it's not, it's not like in volume I've had a good week, but in the small amount of shit that I did get, it's, uh, it's high quality items, uh, so, uh. Hey, hey, Grub Gun here. <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, yeah, so I'll show you what I got over the last little while um, with the insider information, uh, which is always awesome. Uh, hearing about stuff before it's on the shelf and then fucking maybe even getting a discount on it. Who knows? You know, this, it's the big mystery. Nobody really is certain what's actually going on. Well, some people are certain what's going on, but, you know, hey. I like to be, uh, what's the word? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Grabbed some, uh, grabbed some of this. It, it's like the shit that you take stickers off of shit with. What is it called? Goo gone? Goof off? Goo, goo, Google, go, goo, goo, whatever. And, uh, I took the labels off. So now it's just this bottle of kind of semi-viscous, uh, oddly tinted uh, liquid. But this stuff works awesome. I had no idea that this worked so well, and I've been fucking wasting time trying to get stickers off every other fucking way when I could have spent fucking three bucks on this and fucking taken stickers off with ease. So, you know, you learn something new every day, and, uh, well, some people do. I learn something, like, I, I try to reserve what I learn, like, to one thing a week. So, you know, this is what I learned a couple weeks ago, so that was it. That was pretty good. So, yeah, goo, goof, Google, goo, goo, goo gone, goo, goof off, whatever it is. The fucking, this shit. Does it, what does it smell like? I don't even know if I know. It smells a little like Windex. And uh, it tastes terrible. So don't, kids, remember, don't, don't, you have to mix almost, you, you, the ratio of fucking vodka to this to get this flavor uh, out of the vodka, it's it's astronomical. So remember, just don't do that. Or use, a, 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 use something else to mix it with, because vodka doesn't work. So... Goo gone, everyone. It's back. Oh, no, it was never here. It's here. I uh, also grabbed... Uh, I did. I used up some of my fucking Nintendo Club points because I ended up amassing a bunch of them from getting uh, fucking Wii games and shit from uh, Valley Village that still had their club points in. So I got some of these fucking greetings card greeting cards am I yelling got some greeting cards sorry got some of these greeting cards greeting cards anyway and there's three different kinds there's 12 of them in all there's Mario fucking ones and fucking Luigi and Yoshi and inside you see look it's got like the little fucking dude on the bottom there and what does Mario have in it probably fucking mushroom yeah mushroom on there 
And uh, Yoshi has a fucking neg. So these are pretty nice. So I'm doing trades with people. They're going to get one of these in the fucking package. Because that's pretty well all they're good for, right? Fuck. And they just come with plain envelopes. So I don't know if... I'll put them in a fucking envelope just because I don't really need any envelopes. But yeah, those were, I don't know, 400 points or 350 points or some amount of fucking points. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And in the last couple days, I've managed to fucking put all, all the points I spent on these, I fucking put back on there. So these are basically, well, they're free anyway, aren't they? Well, I, I guess they're not free because you have to buy shit in order to get the fucking points. So they're not free. Cup of tea. Oh, God, that's good. Ooh, yeah. Got some of these at Value Village. I don't really know how to put them together or anything yet. I haven't done the fucking research. But I knew what they were when I saw them. I got a couple of fucking shit all over the place. I got a couple of bags of these fucking, whatever they're called, those little fucking bead cocksuckers where you make the fucking bead art or whatever out of the fucking things, what do you call it? The little fucking art fucking bead fucking things like that fucking Ducky Do Gaming sent me. Where the fuck is that thing? Here it is. So these are made out of these fucking, these things. I got a bunch of them. Those were these were three bucks for this amount of fucking beads or whatever. I don't know if I got ripped off or what the fuck, but fucking beads anyway, right? I guess you iron this cocksucker to make them stick together. I don't know how that works. I'm gonna have to look that up on the internet. But yeah, and I got these little fucking bead fucking whatever they are things, so you can put them on there and make something out of it. You know, you got a fucking star and a fucking box and a circle and this one this one which will be perfect for the uh, GameCube fucking logo which will be the first one I make because you see this is this is like right except it's bigger you know what I'm saying I don't need to show this to you because you know you're all smart you can figure that out right So fucking bead art, so you never know I might make fucking bead art fucking thing and send that to you too if I make do a trade with you or if I don't or whatever, it doesn't matter. You know, I'm fucking got nothing else to do and you know used to like fucking doing fucking art and shit like that, so you know, fucking art. Do bead art or whatever. What am I talking about? Am I even is this on? Well the counter's moving, so I got this too. I haven't even hit the games yet, so I mean, this is the thing. You, you have yet to see the games. You have to sit through this fucking shit before I even get to the game part. Got another one of these. This is the second one I found of the Pikachu. I've shown this on Facebook, so anyone who follows the fucking Grub Gun Facebook page, you know, you know, you might all be a little bit demented and need a hobby, but you know, you've all seen this. I got a fucking Pikachu fucking pillowcase and on the back look it's got fucking swirly dude what's his name uh, this guy Polly Whirl and uh, Jiggly Hat or whatever the fuck his name is and Pikachu there and you got fucking uh, Cat Amon or whatever the fuck and this guy over here uh, Blast something I don't know those guys are there and they they're happy cuz you can tell they're happy cuz they're all smiling right so that's good and that was a buck or some fuck I don't even know if it was a buck but yeah look at that and it's clean okay here comes the games now I'll start off with the least impressive. Now these games, 
This entire pile of games only cost me fifteen dollars. So, do the math or something. I think that comes to two fifty each or whatever. I got this. I never played it. I played the one before this, which I can't remember the name of. I think it was Brotherhood. I got this. Ooh. It's Assassin's Creed fucking Revelations, buddy. And you know, you got Ezio and fucking Altair. I think that's Altair on there. I never played that. It's, uh, it's all in there. These 360 cases are fucking flimsy. But yeah, it's in, uh, it's in great. It's, it's like fucking brand new. And there's no, I mean, you know. But yeah, I got that for a couple bucks. I mean, fuck, I haven't played it. You know, I might as well. I really liked the first Assassin's Creed, and the second one, you know, was kind of marred on the 360 with the R-Trigger uh, fighting thing, where you can always, if you hit the R-Trigger, you can ba you're basically, you never get hit. So you can, you can fight, like, giant crowds of people. I used to see how many people I could actually fucking lure into a fight and not get hurt just by holding the R-Trigger down, because it's the guard. It's auto-guard, so... I think you probably all know about that, right? But they fixed that in the third one, which was... Uh, I didn't like the third one. The map was too open right away, and there were... It was just... Nah, sending out those... Five, well, I think it was Brotherhood, where you have to send out... You, you get, like... What happens? You get fucking... Assassins as your buddies, and you can send them out on missions and shit like that. That's just padding a game out. There's no reason. I mean, look at the first game. The first game was awesome. To me, it was like the pinnacle of the fucking series. I, I played it way after it came out, bought it for fucking next to nothing, and had no idea what to expect, and fucking absolutely loved that game. My girlfriend played it. She was just the same thing. She, she, she just couldn't believe how fucking amazing it was. And so, you know, get this for a couple bucks. What do you want? Fuck! I'm gonna buy it! Fuck! Uh, okay, so I'll go from, yeah, I'll, I'll show this one first. This is the least impressive of the games. These are all now DS games. I got five of them. This is the least impressive, but I picked it up anyway. It was there, and I didn't want the old man to have it, so I fucking took it. So this old man gets it. That's right. It's old man on old man violence. But uh, it's a puzzle game. Most of these are puzzle games, actually. And, uh, oh, oh, it's 100 Magical Sliding Puzzles by Hudson. It's fucking rooms. Rooms. Rooms what? Rooms the main building. Now, I don't know what the fuck that is. I think it's just a slidey, slidey game where you slide shit around and shit happens and fucking whatever and fucking, I don't know. I can't remember who showed this on their video, whether it was... Was it Ryan Shand, or was it fucking... No, it was Conus Deloro. But yeah, rooms, everyone! Oh, so that was only a couple bucks, but I got it anyway, because fucking I like puzzle games! As you'll see in a second. And I also got a copy of this. Another copy, because I have one which doesn't have a box and now I have this one that has a box and I believe I'll be getting another one it's Mario Kart DS in a box so fucking insane this is an awesome game if you don't have it and you can get it for uh, 250 or what was it dollar 75 or whatever I got this for or fuck I don't know what it is do the math uh, buy that because this is a fucking good game this is it's lots and lots of fun and so it's nice to have it in a box uh, to on the shelf. Mario Kart DS. Uh, Mario Kart 8 is coming out pretty soon. I just saw the box art for it on the Facebook. And uh, it looks really good. I can't wait. It comes out in May, I think. So, yeah. Um, and here's three puzzle games. I don't know what order they go in. I only know which one is the first one. I got this one, and uh, who doesn't like puzzles? Really, who doesn't like puzzles? Somebody fucking doesn't like puzzles. 
But uh, look, it's Professor Layton and the Curious Village. Now, I've never played any of these games. Um, but I hear really good things. And uh, I like fucking doing puzzles! Puzzle games are good! Work the old fucking uh, brain unit up there. So, it's fucking Professor Layton and the Curious Village. Uh, this had the Nintendo Point still still in it, still unused, and that was fucking awesome. Uh, like I said, I never played any of these games, but I hear they're really good, because, you know, they keep making them, and, uh, you know, when they make a game over and over again, you know, it's got to be good, right? <laughs> or not. So, yeah, that looks, that's, and these things are in fucking, all, like, virtually perfect condition. Like, I, I couldn't. I don't even see a thumbprint on that fucking cocksucker. So, it's back. And then the next one I got, now like I said, I don't know how this works, but um... I'm just trying to figure it out. But uh, whatever, there's some mind-bending fucking adventure, uh, fucking 150 puzzles, and look, it's fucking, he's back again, people! It's fucking Professor Layton in the diabolical fucking box! It's insane! So yeah, I got that. Uh, it says it's a brain-twisting mystery. Is it, it doesn't even say whether this is the second one or the third one or whatever. But anyway, it says solve brain teasers to uncover clues. Who wouldn't do that? Rhetorical question. Diabolical box, everyone! I had a girlfriend once that... Uh, never mind, I'm not going to say that kind of rude there could be children watching and if there are children watching don't watch anymore you shouldn't be watching my fucking channel go stay in school basically is what I'm saying so yeah I got that one he's just fucking he's on a train there with you know the guy with the top hat and the fucking weird looking kid and diabolical everyone and then this one uh oh London's time is running out and it's ten years in the future uh, but they look exactly the same because it's fucking Professor Layton and the Unwound Future. Over 165 puzzles. There's fifth. There's over 165 puzzles. So fuck that. There's probably 167 in there, eh? What? Huh? What? So that's right. I got three fucking Professor Layton games for like. Basically two bucks each. They were all two bucks, basically. A little over two. Two and a quarter or whatever. So I can't hold up three games, so... Fuck you. You can see them. You saw them anyway! Why do I have to show them to you again? Here, I'll show you the fucking spines. So yeah, and all of the fucking uh, Nintendo Power uh, points were in here. Or Nintendo Power. Whatever they are. Club fucking Nintendo shit. All the points were still in there, so I racked those back up again. So anyway, that's it. That's it. I managed to fucking stretch this out, showing you fucking beads and some clear liquid in a bottle, a pillowcase. So I hope everyone's having an awesome time out there in fucking YouTube land, because I'm having an awesome time here at fucking Grub Towers. Beautiful day. Oh, it's been really nice here. It's been a little cold, but, uh, you know, I can handle a little bit of cold. I, I don't want it to snow. It's going to start raining tomorrow. Fucking go up to 7, 8 degrees. I know every, some people are having snow and fucking freezing their fucking knackers off, but, you know, for the people who are freezing, there's always somebody who's not freezing. So, take take the good with the bad or whatever. Or not. What You know, I don't know. Do whatever you want. So yeah, this has been Grub Gun. Uh, there's probably more I could talk about, but the thing's going at 19 minutes, so you know what I have to do. I have to go or else it'll do the fucking, ju fucking jump cut thing. Going to be filming the Grub Games for later in the week. Oh, it's exciting. I'll give you a hint what it is. Bzzz, bloop. No points or fucking prizes for anyone who guesses. Plus, I posted it on Facebook, so if you saw that there, then fucking whatever. Fucking cheating on the contest, then. Okay, this has been Grub Gun. Signing out. See you later, everybody. Uh, it's been a fucking slice of uh, magic. Okay, see you later, everyone. As I said.
Oh no, I forgot to say fuck off, so fuck off.